All right, welcome back everyone. This is Chris of the Ancient Scholar. And now that we have a, a basic idea of what the heck we're looking at, let's just go ahead and uh, start with some examples of 12 lead ECGs and see if we can work through them. Okay, so here's my first example of a uh, 12 lead ECG. And so again, what I like to do is I like to go through that ISAL method. So let's start with I, the inferior wall, two, three, and A, V, F. All right, so we'll start at two. And immediately, uh, you should notice uh, something kind of popping up here in the inferior wall. And let's see if I can just grab a pen and that'll help us identify these a little better than markers. So if you look at lead two here, look at the J point. What should the J point normally do? Well, the J point should normally, right, come down and then back to baseline. But if you look here, you can clearly see that the J point is above the baseline. And uh, what I have is I have about two millimeters of, of elevation above the baseline. Um, so we would say that there is ST elevation in lead two. Uh, moving down to lead three, again, you can see that you have the uh, baseline here. And again, you can see that you have elevation above that baseline. And we also see that in AVF or augmented vector front where I have the ST elevation. So we would say that we have ST elevation in the inferior leads. Okay, um, so let's move on. Let's now uh, look at V1 and V2. So I is inferior. So V1 and V2 is the septal wall. And if you look here at uh, V1, um, you see the J point returns to baseline there, and it returns to baseline there, so we don't have any ST segment changes there. And if we look in V3 and V4, you can see I have a normal uh, J point there and a normal J point there in uh, V4 as well. All right, so our septal and anterior walls look okay. And then finally, we'll move on to the lateral wall, V5, V6, uh, one in augmented vector left. We don't really use AVR. So let's look at uh, V5 here, normal J point, V6, J point's normal, no ST segment elevation or depression there. And then we look at uh, lead one here. Okay, J point comes down to baseline and then you go into the T wave. Um, and then we look at um, AVL, which I don't actually have a very good, it was right along the line here when I printed it off. Um, but I'll just draw the, the QRS in here. Um, and you can see that it does return to baseline and then go into the T wave there. Um, so augmented vector left looks okay too. So um, the anterior, septal, and lateral walls look okay, but we do have ST segment elevation in all three of my inferior leads. And so we would say, in this case, if our patient had signs and symptoms suggesting a STEMI or suggesting acute coronary syndrome, and we marry that with these findings, um, this is a very high probability that this patient is having a ST elevation myocardial infarction in the inferior wall. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, we'll see you in the next video where we'll look at another 12 lead. All right, as always, thanks for hanging in there, guys.